I imagine that the, the process for getting this place set up was huge. Yeah, I mean, the, the actual physicality of it, <clears throat> once we had obtained the building, um, it was sat on, sat on it for about a year or so. And then, but once we actually really got into it and decided to make this happen, it was, I guess, July, really, we really made, we moved in and we made a really big push. Uh, so it was, what, seven, eight months, I guess. Uh, the, some of the things are a lot quicker than one would imagine. For yeah. example, this, this entire thing was done in a week. Wow. Yeah. It was a, what, quite the operation because the pews don't come out very easily. So you have to kind of move them out the one way and push the scaffolding out. And yeah. Then move, and then just, it's all just scaffolding and moving stuff around to try and keep the, the flow of the work going. But we get it, got it done in basically a week. That's incredible. Yeah. That's, wow. The artwork in here yes. was, and I totally need to bring up the name again. It's um, Huda San Miguel yeah. from Madrid. From Madrid. Yeah. We originally saw a video of a church that he'd done. He's done a, a couple of churches in very, very large projects, which is why we wanted to get him in here, not just have some like, you know, fly by night guy say, oh yeah, I can do it. You know, we wanted someone we knew could do it, so you yeah, know, we got him over. certainly did, wow. And he did a, a beautiful job. It's incredible. Just, although we, uh, you know, we obviously commissioned the work, we didn't give him any real guidelines. It was just like, you know, feel it yourself, you know, and make what you feel is right for this space, and he did, and we didn't really, other than saying we just wanted it very bright and fun and colorful, we didn't really give him much more than that. I know. And if you look at the place on the outside, you know, beyond the, the mural right, right there, you yes. would have no idea that something like this is inside. That's absolutely true, which is why, yeah. considering we've been here, this has been here since like December, so at least three or four months, yeah. uh, this is actually complete inside. And we've been in here doing our thing and no one had actually complained or had any issues or worries in the neighborhood at all because they didn't, they just didn't realize what was happening in here. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it was very interesting to me to find that just because Google decided to list us as the International Church of Cannabis, which was correct. That's as soon as that harder happened, to do than, than you might think too. It's, yeah, it's they, hard to get a Google listing. Right, well they did it. And as soon as that, as soon as we got that listing was when all of a sudden, the shitstorm happened and everybody in the neighborhood went, wait a minute, what's going on there? And like, you know, <laughs> and we had all this press and what have you descend yeah. upon us. But basically, As they you know, do. I don't really see there's any issues. We haven't really caused anyone any problems and we continue to not cause problems. So it's, it's all a lot of, a lot of panic and uh, fear of the unknown, really. Yeah.